Dan's parents, Dan Swain and his garage. As long as we're in isolation, I'm going to continue these free videos from my book. And if you're interested in purchasing my book, it's all based on science. And there's 80 skating patterns, a 37 stick, 9 passing, 9 shooting, and 5 different hit positions. And the book is for players, parents, coaches, and you can get an ebook, paperback, or hard, uh, hard copy. So, who's Dan Celine? I'm, a, I'm 63 years old, been instructing hockey for 48 years. I've uh, published a DVD on stick handling, one on skating, and I've done uh, hockey manuals on systems and skills. So I've been around for a long time. So today we've been doing the previous uh, DVD, uh, DVD, the previous video. I did a lot of shuffling, then I went to the toe, and then I crossed over in the toe. So train that and you'll be faster on the ice. So the emphasis on this video is going to be head up, chin up, not down. I don't need to look at the ball. I don't need to do this because I already see it and I see it in the camera. So what we're going to do different today is this is the normal hockey stance. This is going to be a hard one. If you want to work your quads, your hands, ab adductors, it's, this is going to be a hard one. And I'm going to be going from a normal stance to wide. Make sure I don't hit the cement here. I'm going to go from normal to wide and I'm going to sit. And then I'm going to move, look at my skates, outside edge, inside edge. Can't do this on your running shoes. Inside edge, outside edge. So we're going to rock and roll, and then I'm going to re sit really low for a big, big burnout in my quads and hands and the muscles in my lower leg. And I'm going to put my, my blade up, and I'm going to stick handle off the heel. So instead of, for the camera's sake, of me stick handling full blade down I'm going to go to the heel so some gifted stick handlers that use a long stick but have a deep knee a deep knee their shoulder goes up and they can't stick stick handle full blade they got to go to the heel so that being said is let's just warm up all right I'm just going to throw some head kicks in. Uh, okay, shot. all right so down deep walk out your skates walk them out and stick handle, and stick handle full blade, full blade, look at me, I can see you, now let's go down lower, I'm going to go to the heel, I'm going to stick handle off the heel, I still see you, I still see the ball, alright, come up just a little, full blade, full blade down, and we're going to move to the left, and rock your skates, rock, and then come back the other way, and rock, and then come back the other way, and rock, and come back the other way, and rock, and we're going to rock to my forehand side and then we'll fake shot. So, I'm going to rock, fake shot, and then we'll get, and rock, and fake shot. It's two in a row I lost. Let's see if we're going to go for three. And rock, and fake, that's four in a row. <sighs> Anyways, that's uh, Dan Celine. Uh, signing off. Continue your training and remember all these movements in your skates are very very important. Rock and roll, outside inside edges, move, we've covered the crossover, we did the agility pull work, but bam, 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 bam. so you can have fun with this. All right? Work your skates and then go deep and sit down, rock, rock, and Lean, signing off. Remember, train hard until you sweat and go another five minutes. And some of you should be training twice a day. It might take you 15 minutes each time, but the faster your hands are, the faster you're going to be able to skate. You got slow hands, you're going to slow your skates down. If you can play with your head down, you're going to slow your read and react skills. You're going to diminish or reduce your hockey sense or hockey IQ. So keep your head up, maintain a deep knee, 
and work on your quick hands. Dance when you sign off.